I wanted to actually talk about this uh, China thing because everybody keeps talking about these tariffs. So I just wanted to share a video, well, a channel that I watch called China the Observer, and this channel this channel breaks down what exactly is going on in China because I see so many comments on different videos that I watch, especially, you know, the usual CNN, MSNBC, um, different, just different channels where you see Democrats, especially going against these tariffs that the president wants to put in place. Now, if you actually see, well, you will see that tariffs are going to cripple China and China is already going into an economic collapse Have you heard of this term? It refers to people who have cars, houses, and look sharp on the outside, but hardly have any savings. They carry smartphones worth thousands, but their digital wallets barely hit four figures. They drive cars worth hundreds of thousands, yet struggle to put in just 200 yuan for gas. Sure, they live in homes worth 2 million, but the mortgage costs way more than the rent would. They're not poor exactly, since they might even own a business, but they certainly aren't rich either. Nowadays, it's almost like anyone with a little ambition is in debt. Early mornings, late nights, I doubt they'll get rich. The old concept of poverty was about lacking basic clothing or food. Society has progressed, and now you can't even tell who's struggling financially. In recent years, Chinese social media has coined a new term, the new poor. These people own property and cars and dress well but live paycheck to paycheck, often buried in debt. As China's economy worsens and housing prices continue to drop, these new poor are popping up in cities all over, especially in places like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Can you tell where I live from looking at this area? Let me show you. Tall buildings, bustling streets below. That's right, I'm what they now call a new poor. Like polished shells, we look good on the outside, but inside it's all empty. The old poor couldn't afford a tiled roof or a bike. They were barely clothed and barely fed. But the new poor? You never know. Wearing the same brands, with property and cars in the city, and our social media full of fancy food and scenic views, we look impressive. But the reality? Empty pockets, no fun, no cash, empty bank accounts. A six-digit password secures a two-digit balance. Assets, but no savings. Just a pile of debt. Every payday, once we cover loans, it's back to zero. 